I told my teacher, suck a d I'm selling food. My algebra teacher, I definitely w w would have said that, um, 100%. Trey Pound got a buck. Parker like amusement. No clowns over here. No ha ha. No amusement. So we got the double entendre thing going on. You know what I mean? Um, and you know who I credit for a lot of that who don't get that camera. I'm loving the vibe of the double entendre. I'm always into like the, the same word, you know what I mean? Like um, twice. Um, in different in different forms, you know, Trey Pound got a buck also, you know what I mean? Um, very slick. I call that like light punching, you know what I'm saying to you? So I get that like a three. I hold him sees like Mephistopheles, bringing swords of Damocles, secret service, keep a close watch as if my name was Kennedy, abstract raps, simple with a street format, gaze into the sky and measure planets by parallax. This sound like a, the, the bars from the score, you know what I mean? That was something like, I used to, I used to like write a lot and I'm like from, I don't even think people understand like how hard the Fuji's is when it comes to bars, you know? You know, you have like so many forms of hip hop and I let people know like at times you wanna make people dance, you want to do like slackness, you know, you got the sex lyrics. I guess it depended on how many blunt you smoke. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, we used to be zooted, man, sometimes. Well, I know I used to be zooted. This one is five mics, man. Facts. And whoever want to battle me, just let me know. Y'all ain't ready for me. You walk around showing off your body because it sells, plus to avoid the fact that you ain't got skills. Mad at me cause I kicked that shit real feel while 99% of your fans wear high heels. You know, this this definitely gets five. You know, this is Cannabis. Um, cannabis was the first internet rapper ever. At one time it was like him and Eminem toe to toe for me. Her with my jeans on. Her with my chains on. She like how I be kicking she might think that I'm from Hong Kong. Everybody turn your power off if your phone on. Ho, you gonna get slapped up and yo, shit using the wrong tone. I would say the way that I, I, um, I elaborate on this because like coming up, I think like people think hip hop is supposed to be one way. And sometimes they'd be like, yo, why such profanity and whatever? Do this the community. Like we grow up inside of this. Like so when we saying because we see a we saying pimp, when we saying you, it's because you know that's within the environment. And I think that when we look at authors, I think like sometimes an older generation always misses out on what's going on real time. I'ma definitely give this one like a three, because I overstand has very interesting metaphors. Greedy men and pride fiends. Program TV screens, quick scam, and drag queens. Real life, it's been blaspheme. Now you know these are the kind of bars that I like. You know what I'm saying? Like this one off the gate. These kind of bars could have been on Illmatic. You know what I'm saying to you? So what I love about this, like greedy men, greedy men, and pride fiends. You know what I mean? Like. To me, like when I hear these lyrics, they, um, they're what I call an abstract painting on the wall because you can look at it like greedy men and pride fiends can be mean so many things. Program TV screens can mean so many things. What I like about this is each line, literally I can tell you 10 different things that it could mean. Um, this is like five for me, man, heavy. Bad man and a wicked shatter, wet you up. Like an otter, I pull ranks like Shaba. Hundred thousand ways to hump. Choose a teller. I'm rude and black like ox from belly. This is what I call patwa swagger. You know what I'm saying to you? Um, and understanding everything like bad man. This is like the kind of stuff that I grew up with. Um, you know, like. 
growing up with like a lot of like yard men and, and sound systems and understanding a lot of like the patois twang. And at a time in Brooklyn, every man wanted to be Jamaican and talk like this and thing, you know what I mean? So I definitely rated it. It's like, you know, I got them three numbers. It's definitely a three, you know what I mean? A me areas with Bounty Killer and them on them, you know what I mean? <laughs> that. Too many MCs, not enough mics. Exit your show like I exit the turnpike. Dyson Dynamite like Dolomite. Double Deuce. Been like, I don't. Dick Van Dyke. Once again, it's a Fuji lingo. So the Fujis had a certain, this is prize. At the time, there was a group that was very influenced by um, just their style. They were actually called the Outsiders. The Outs had a certain way that they would rap where it would be like, riddle me this, riddle me that. Like they would, um, they would set up the scheme and you would normally get it till the fourth bar. Um, I think by the fourth bar, you get, oh, okay, I see where Prize is going, you know what I'm saying to you? So definitely a four on this one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And we still trapping like some fools, b I've been trapping out since elementary school. Told my teacher, suck a d I'm selling food. I tell my teacher, suck a d I'm selling food. I so could relate to this because I remember like, can you imagine like you in class? And teacher's like, yo, and it's like, 16 of y'all, and she's like, well, you know, eight of y'all gonna be on crack, you know? <laughs> like, you know, uh, the rest of y'all probably gonna be dead, and maybe two's gonna survive. Like, how, how, you know, so this is the kind of stuff, I mean, I love because it just, it defines, like, statistically what they say we can't be. If you want the environment better and you want kids to stop trapping and talk about different things, then the politicians really gotta provide things in these communities. So until you do that, the language is gonna be very, very strong. I told my teacher, suck a d I'm selling food. My algebra teacher, I definitely would have said that, um, 100%. This my shit, this a five. Irritated when I'm not sedated, your face like I was obligated and still with them freak stank smelling like cool ranch Doritos. So the thing is, in hip hop, you have what's called slackness lyrics. Sometimes I really want to say, irritated when I'm not sedated. I'm gonna face like I'm obligated, you know, and say, I can't say that. Somebody gonna have to say that shit. You know what I'm saying? What a lot of times the slackness lyrics do is it creates an alter ego. So then you find yourself at the club, you know, you singing along with it, you know what I mean? And then when somebody want to come around and they be like, yo, you can't be doing this. This is not positive lyrics. At the end of the day, this is what makes hip hop dope. You know, the, the freedom of speech and the expression factor, you know what I mean? So, I mean, how would we rate this as far as like best slack lyrics of all time? I mean, I definitely give it like a, let me see. The your face like I was obligated, very vulgar. Um, it's probably one of the best slack lyrics of all time. Definitely. Four, who was that? That was Danny Brown. Horny person, huh? <laughs> Danny Brown is horny. Be Tupac and with my <laughs> We be thugging all night, rap. All of this ice and it's all bright. I walk into the spot and I need no lights. R.I.P. the Kimbo Slice. So this is what we call fly talking hip hop, like who has the flyest lingo. Um, and you know, that's another part of hip hop. So you got what I call the big talk, you know what I'm saying? Like where the dude is just so fly, you like, um, he must have read every book from Iceberg Slim. You know what I'm saying to you? So definitely just fly to the T lyrics all day long. This is like a four for me. Yo, what up? This is Y Clef Jean and I just rated those bars. Make sure y'all subscribe to BET by clicking below.